Hello everyone, we have got some absolutely insane news. It is so crazy that even I cannot contain the excitement for this. Now obviously we are the first to report on this. We're always hard uh, working uh, Beyblade journalists, isn't that right? So we managed to find the Beyblade scene investigation we found the Power Spark set that has Brave Valtriac with, get this, a sparking ripcord launcher. Not a launcher that just looks like a sparking launcher and it doesn't actually spark, it sparks, just like TT. This is absolutely insane. Now, I was a bit skeptic, because you wanna know what, because Hasbro does have this track record, but they deliver. There's a few things to go over. Let's first go over the back of this packaging right here, where it basically explains it in lengthy detail. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. Oh, by the way, it comes with Aero Dash, that Shining Amaterios disc, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know why people thought the app glitched and it was 2 a it's, No, it's, it's Aero Dash. I don't, I don't know why it's Aero Dash. I do know that they, they have to do a 2 a chassis disc, because. Uh, starter Hyperion and Starter Helios had 1B and 1A, so I'm expecting Brave to probably get some separate release of 2A. Would you agree or? Probably. Uh, the Evolution or the Evolutional is going to be, uh, with no metal, is just going to be a taller Evolution. So this is a regular Speedstorm tip. Uh, and you can see, Sparks launches right or left, so it is actually an LR Sparking Launcher. Now. You know, Hasbro's Ripcord launchers aren't the best, but I do have hope for this. I do think this will have some stellar use. And going over, we're gonna first go over a breakdown. We'll first go over the launcher, and then after we'll go over kind of explaining more with the babe. So the sparking launcher there looks very awesome. It, it has a very cool design. It is a very, it's like a modified shape of a sword launcher. Uh, but uh, sparking the ripcord does look to be long. Uh, it is long because uh, it actually cuts off on <laughs> in the image that we have there. So it looks cool. Even has the little Beyblade thing. Like it looks so cool, man. And I and I've been saying, like, dude, why doesn't TT just do the LRS sparking ripcord? I, I guess has real cool dibs on that. Like, hey, you guys can do the left and the right string. We're getting the ripcord. Uh, so if you're wondering what a sparking launcher basically is, when you actually launch it, sparks come out. Now I should say this, I do not know why people think for some reason, even to this day, there is a hazard. There is no hazard, otherwise they wouldn't produce the product. Uh, please get that out of your head if you think for whatever reason the sparking launchers are a danger. Uh, I say this because I don't, I don't know why people think for some reason they'd release it where it costs fires. Uh, very silly. But uh, let's go over to the bay, which is Brave Valtric. So unfortunate news, paint job is not the best. Uh, it, it, at least the layer I think is transparent. I can't really tell. It is not rubber, it is plastic. Uh, I'm saying this because uh, Brave Rock Tavor, which we saw not too long ago, had uh, plastic. Do not expect rubber on this. It is sad. A huge sacrifice on the layer. I can maybe sing this maybe being slightly better than Sword, but even then, really disappointing in that regard. Uh, the only really highlight to the Valtric Bay is probably just the taller Evolution, which they're calling Evolutional. Other than that, uh, there's nothing really else to say. It is missing just a wee bit of detail, just a wee bit there. But uh, again, going over the Sparking Launcher and everything, it is very, very exciting completely unexpected. As I, the people say, oh, maybe they'll just do LED lights. Maybe the... I was expecting LR. LR too. LR, no reason to keep the LR. Well, it is ripcord to be fair, but still, that's still, still yeah, left and, right. left and right. I am, I'm just extremely excited for this. I think uh, it's, it's awesome, but time will tell if the launchers are durable more durable than the sword launchers, then it will get even more praise. Otherwise, it'll be like, hey, it's cool, I guess. I'm really just excited for it's just the launcher. It's, it's awesome, man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, by the way. What are your thoughts on Brave's combo? What are your thoughts on the launcher itself? And I know the biggest question everybody's wondering, the release date. I don't know. 
I'm saying that straight up. If we had release dates, we'd say, hey, it's this. The only thing I can say is a good estimate is 2021. 2021. Yeah. Probably for it to really, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be right away. It'll probably. There's so much progress. Yeah, there's so much they have to get through. So it'll probably be a little bit, uh, I don't know, maybe February, do you think? No idea. We have no idea. It could appear sooner than expected, but maybe maybe spring 2021? I would say maybe March. Maybe March? Uh, anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I've said already my thoughts on the base. Pros, cons, really is excited to have Redoom the Launcher. Really is awesome. And thank you all for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day. Bye.